Caden went outdoors here. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Parker Challenger crossbow. It's got a red dot sight on it. Laser bore sighted factory. Laser boy sighted. They did it right at the factory before they sold it. Shipped it. Oh, this has 400 grain limbs on it. It's a youth bow, crossbow. It has an Edinburgh Outdoor sling on it, rubber. And use a cocking, cocking device. Uh, it came with four Parker arrows, and I added uh, three out of the four arrows. I put uh, Luminox on them, and I got Rage Broadheads for these. Expandables. They're pretty nice. There's the veins on that. I always keep an extra arrow with me. So I gotta shoot the bow when I'm done hunting. So I always keep an extra arrow with me. These are my target practice arrows. These are uh, these are red dot arrows. 100 grain arrows. Practice tips on them. They're really good arrows. It's an excellent bow, good for youth. The scope's got, you can sight it in at different lines. There's, I believe, four different lines on it. See, it says Challenger right there, Parker. The back plate's just plastic. Stocks all camo plastic, four end. And where you put your foot on to cock it, that's all metal. You so you put your foot you put your foot through it like that and put those things on it, pull it back. And you always want to make sure you keep your fingers below the grip thing so you don't get them caught in the string or take them right off. Uh, you should usually use special targets for these or like a regular cheap fifteen dollar Walmart target, or go right through it. Otherwise, it's a really good bow. The trigger's made out of thin metal. Shakes along a, a little bit, but that's fine. Here's the sling. Sometimes you have to retighten down the scope because it'll get loose. I use a bone collector. BC 300 target to shoot at it with this crossbow and I use a block target, big block crossbow target and compound bow. That's what the bone collector one is. You can use compound bow on that too. These are the cocking devices. You'd hook these bolts right here and then put this right around there and hook that right there and then pull it back. These bows retail for about $350 with the scope and cocking devices and a quiver but no arrows. And these little green caps right here, you stick them in front of the broadheads and then you screw in the broadhead. You, you can replace these, get them online and stuff. All right, now we will be shooting the crossbow. Oh, and the safety's right here. Push up the fire. Push down on safety. Now it's ready to fire. And make sure when you put the arrow in, you push the arrow all the way back until it clicks. Thought you would have a anti uh, anti dry fire, or it could really dry fire, and you could get really hurt by the string defunction. Alright, now I will be shooting it with one of these red dot arrows.
All right, now we will pick the bow up and put the arrow in it. We're shooting it. To straighten that up. Pick that up, would you? And then you always make sure you put the white vein down. Kind of like that. You push it all the way back until it clicks. That you can have a dry fire. That won't be too good. There we go. The arrow's in there all the way, and we should be good to let her fire. We want to make sure your fingers are below the guard so you don't chop them right off. Shake these off. We're ready to fire. There we go, we hit right above it. Let's go check it out. Oh, they pull out real nice. Alright, that's all we have today for Cadenwood Outdoors. Uh, we might be sighting this in some time, and I'll be showing you what's inside the scope and how that looks, but make sure to go subscribe and smash that like button.